honestly i was so much relieved i can't be grateful enough to god or my body mm. that uh, it responded really well to the treatment and my own efforts being paid that i don't have to go through chemos no therapies it could have been there my life would have turned mm. other way around so, so how is life now you, you... my life is like it was before us before i had the operation no different whatsoever it's just i'm not going to work until i'm ready you know in myself as far as my attitude and my uh, reaction to all this is i've always been a positive person and i remain so in fact more so because i've made this conscious decision that i'm going to get as much out of life now as i possibly can uh given that i don't know how much longer of of that life i've got left there is a psychological aspect to the illness and that is being reconciled to being terminally ill i i feel i am quite reconciled to this condition i think there's two reasons for that firstly because um i have a, a strong christian faith both my wife and i have that and we have a very supportive local church and that helps me because i i don't have um an intellectual fear of death say something about your photographs oh yes um the thing i have done which have been the most enormous pleasure is over the years i've always kept photograph albums and um i now must have about 30 enormous books of photos and i spent a lot of time recently just going through them looking at them and enjoying um the times that i've that uh, they remind me of times which have been very good not all of them very good but all the sorts of things we've done as a family and as friends you said the future how do you view the future yourself um day by day I try not to think too much. On I mean, my lowest days I think I'm not going to get to 50. Mm. Um but I don't think about that too often. Um there were times when I was when I was diagnosed and they were talking about um the 2012 Olympics and I thought, "Hmm, wonder if I'll get to see that." <laughs> mm. I've got more hope now mm. that I will be watching the uh javelin or whatever it is that yeah. that's going on. um at the 2012 Olympics so that's encouraging how do you feel about your future given that you've got this hideous thing and you've not had any treatment for it i try not to think about the future too much i try to live in the present take each day as it comes what will you know what will be will be i can't alter it i can't make it go away by any of my actions so i just try and live day by day really not think about the future my husband has counseling to help him cope with the future that's coming and him being on his own because it's going to be hard for him